Hi, and welcome to one of the many Rock Studio videos streaming to you from Automation Fair in Boston. I am Paul Heichel, Commercial Portfolio Manager here at Rockwell Automation, and I'm joined with Sharon Billy Duran and Dan Henneberry, both business managers here at Rockwell Automation. Sharon and Dan, thank you so much for taking uh, some time out of your busy schedule. Thank you. And share some insights with our viewers. Uh, we're going to start with you, Sharon. Uh, can you please tell us what makes Factory Talk Optics a platform? Absolutely. So Factory Talk Optics is a new offering. Um, from the software perspective, we've always thought of it as a platform. Um, it enables uh, our users to create applications that are very small, edge applications, all the way ranging up to larger SCADA applications and everything in between, IoT communications. Um, you know, from the software perspective, um, it provides extreme flexibility and it's complemented by hardware, a hardware offering that Dan will talk about. And together, they really create a comprehensive uh, solution uh, for our customers. And from a hardware perspective, it's actually multiple platforms. Um, Factory Talk Optics is a very, very powerful HMI uh, programming environment, but it's so much more than an HMI. Uh, we have the ability to communicate to edge devices and perform tasks on the edge to uh, really achieve that smart machine type vision that a lot of customers have. But we like to break our hardware offering roughly into two categories. One is the open OS architecture and the other one is the closed OS architecture. And let me explain. So the open OS architecture is typically found on your IPC products such as the Osm 6300 line of IPCs. And the closed architecture is generally found on things like optics panel terminals, but also the embedded edge compute that was just released uh, this, earlier this year. And so we like to talk about a software-defined hardware experience. So what does that mean? That means that customers can literally develop their application in the software, and they can choose a very scalable offering based on uh, the licensing model, and then simply deploy it to whatever hardware best suits their needs based on environment, requirements as well as the performance requirements. So Dan, let's drill down a little bit, little bit more about the what makes the optics panel different from the industrial PC or any oh, kind of an open PC. Um, the fundamental difference is that an optics panel provides a PC-like experience but in a closed environment. So there's some benefits there in terms of security. Uh, it is a closed environment so therefore you don't have to have an antivirus software loaded on it. And secondly, uh, the optics panel terminals are typically deployed in more SCID-based machines, uh, whereas a PC, an Osm 6300 IPC, would be deployed in more enterprise-wide deployments, where you have multiple terminals, perhaps connected to multiple controllers, et cetera. Okay. And so the other thing that I'll add about that is that from a software perspective, because uh, the, the solution can be so scalable, the graphics are also scalable. So as you deploy from a, to, to a smaller terminal um, to a larger screen size, if the application has visualization, uh, okay. the designer only has to create the application once and then can uh, you know, decide later how, how it's deployed and where it will best be used. Okay, so Shannon, we're gonna stay with you. It sounds great, like a single platform common cutouts uh, between optics panels, IPCs, one project deployed everywhere. Uh, a, a lot of differentiation at Hello with an introduction of a portfolio of products. Yeah. Can you tell us more how maybe a machine builder or a system integrator can differentiate themselves by leveraging the Facutalk optics portfolio? No, so absolutely, that is a great question because um, quite often system integrators and machine builders will have a common library or a common offering that they offer to their end users and their goal is to customize it and kind of add their their own special you know special sauce on there and so um, the the optics platform enables system integrators and machine builders to create common library objects that can later be customized uh, via OPC, uh, the, the platform is extremely uh, extensible based on OPC UA and is extremely extensible using C Sharp scripting. Um, if an if end user wants to see uh, you know, something in a certain color, certain style, the designer can apply style sheets and uh, you know, not, cha not change the base objects, just change how it looks. And so the, the end user gets the, the system the way they want it 
while the system integrator still keeps their base code, and it's uh, very powerful. And from a hardware perspective, um, customers differentiate with optics because of common cutouts. So the hardware is consistently the same size cutouts for the panels from IPCs to the optics panel terminals. And that means a, uh, an OEM customer might be able to provide a tiered approach to the offering that they provide their customers, meaning that they could have a very budget-friendly one on the, on the low end and then have one on the high end with all the bells and whistles using an IPC. And secondly, um, customers are taking advantage of, like Sharon said, the multi, the connectivity aspect of it. They can connect to virtually any controller, uh, of competitive controller, et cetera, so they can have one type of, eight, or one HMI application that's deployed to many, many regions of the world and that allows them to really cover the bases with one single HMI. All right, excellent. Sharon, I think one last thing is related to end users, so we don't forget about end users. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything for end users? So I, I think the important thing for end users is uh, standardization. And so quite commonly in facilities, end users will have uh, machines from different vendors, different system integrators. But the plant manager still wants them all to talk to each other and, and get a comprehensive view of all of their machines. So by standardizing on a platform like Factory Talk Optics, the machine-to-machine -machine communication is inherently built in. Uh, the maintenance of the systems are you know, essentially the same. So it, it, it truly benefits them. It is one system by getting machines from different machine builders, but they all leverage the optics platform <laughs> and the top player. Well, thank you so much for all the answers. This has been great. Uh, you can click on the link uh, uh, below the post uh, for more about Faki Talk uh, portfolio, Faki Talk Optics portfolio. And thank you for watching. Don't go anywhere. Stay on to watch our Faki Talk Optics portfolio trailer. Plus, we'll be right back with more from Automation Fair. Thank you. <laughs>